The well-known SR-71 is actually the fourth airplane in the Blackbird family. Fourth. The original plane designed by Lockheed Skunk Works was the A-12 spy plane for the CIA built under the codename Oxcart, which flew with a single pilot and advanced photography equipment. 18 were ordered, but only 13 were built. For budgetary reasons, all A-12s were retired after only 29 total missions. Eight of them never flew. Which makes me really sad. The U.S. Air Force took three of the first 18 production slots and produced the YF-12A, a two-seater weapon-equipped prototype designed to be a high-speed fighter interceptor. The YF-12 is easily distinguished from other Blackbirds because of its round, chineless nose, designed to house existing fighter jet radar, and its lower fins for added stability and handling. Although production was planned for the service version to be called the F-12, after three years of budgetary delays, the government decided that there was no need for the plane. The last two of the first 18 aircraft were built as a two-seater experimental drone launching platform and designated the M21, but this program was scrapped after one of the drone's engines failed to start and collided with the mothership airplane, killing the launch control officer. The now well-known SR-71 was ordered as a top-secret successor by the United States Air Force to the YF-12 to act as a high-speed surveillance and reconnaissance platform. 32 aircraft were built, flying over 3,500 missions and over 17,000 flights from 1966 to 1998. Visually, the only major difference between the A-12 and the SR-71 is a second set of windows for the reconnaissance systems officer found just behind the main cockpit. While there are slight differences in the body length and shape of the front chines, without a direct side-by-side -side comparison, the two planes are nearly identical. For Tech Laboratories, I'm Tech Adams, saying keep thinking, and thanks for watching. This makes sure that the front shockwave created by the nose at supersonic speeds doesn't intersect with the rest of the aircraft, reducing overall drag. This it's is not your bodies. average museum. It's not just a stop on your way by as you're passing through. This is a destination.